Hello everyone, Alan Chase here, BackupOnlineBlog.com with this video, Why Live Drive is Better Than Mosey. Uh, I use Live Drive to protect my uh, computers here in my office, uh, as well as at home. And uh, like you, you might be uh, shopping around uh, right now. I picked uh, Live Drive, I found it to be a superior product to uh, Mosey. And uh, I think uh, online backup is really important. If you're not doing it, I think you should do it, whether you're doing it with uh, Live Drive ultimately or another provider, but I think it's critical. But LiveDrive, I think, really is the, the best product around, and I want to show you why I think it's better than Mosey. Mosey might be the one most familiar to you. They have uh, some great TV commercials. You can watch them on uh, YouTube, and they make the point about uh, how important online backup is, but I think their product has some deficiencies, which is why I prefer LiveDrive. So I'd like to begin by showing you where Mosey and LiveDrive are pretty similar. And uh, this is a review using Mosey Home. Uh, they have a business offering as well, but Mosey Home is for uh, personal computing, which is what we're talking about here. Uh, both do online backups to a cloud, and uh, that gets your data off-site uh, and, and away from you. So uh, if you have any kind of a uh, problem at home or your computer dies or if you have a fire uh, or anything like that, the, all the data is uh, well off-site. Both offer encryption, which is important, so that way uh, your data is secure and no one is uh, peeking into it. Both have support for Windows and Mac, and uh, that's good. Both have web and client-based restore, and what that means is that if you have a, a file or a series of files you want to restore, you can restore them by visiting uh, their website, logging into your account, and restoring the files to your computer, or uh, you can download a client piece of software from them and use that to do a restore. Usually the client software uh, makes the restore go a little faster and is easier, but it's nice to know you have the web-based one too in case you don't have a, a client uh, software handy. Uh, both offer you a limited amount of space and both store any kind of file type. So that's all good. But where I found LiveDrive is much better is, uh, to begin with, Mosey charges a per computer fee. Now pretty much all the online backup providers charge a monthly rate. Um, so Mosey today, and it's, uh, this video is dated about August 2010, uh, Mosey charges about $4.95 per computer. Live Drive is $6.95. But the difference is, is Mosey is per computer per month, whereas Live Drive is a flat fee for as many computers you want per month. If you're like me and you have a few computers, and if you have a family, you definitely have a few computers, uh, or most people do anyway, uh, it can get rather expensive if I have to spend $4.95 for every computer. Uh, it's very nice to know LiveDrive with a flat fee. You pay one rate. You can back up as many computers as you, as you own. Uh, the second thing that I didn't care for with Mosey versus LiveDrive is the versioning. Now, one of the critical features of any backup offering is versioning. And what we mean by versioning is uh, if I have a file that I've created and let's say it's a, a Word document and I've written a few pages and uh, as I've been writing these pages every time I uh, make changes I save it and I save it again and maybe over the course of the day I've saved it three, four, five times. Uh, both Mosey and LiveDrive will detect the fact that I'm saving changes. They'll make a copy of that and store it off, uh, off site uh, which is great. Store it online which is great. But uh, Mosey only retains the prior versions of your files for 30 days. And then after the 30 days has gone by, Mosey deletes them from the system. So if I created a, a document, and again, I've made a number of changes, and now I've stored it, and then I come back a couple months later, and I realize that the current version I have, you know, maybe it's corrupt and it won't open, or maybe it's got a virus, or maybe it's in a format that's not usable for me. I need it in an old format. I have no way of going into Mosey and saying, okay, give me one of the older versions uh, that I stored uh, from a few months ago. Whereas with LiveDrive, LiveDrive retains the last 30 versions of the file. So for me, I really can't see ever needing more than the last 30 versions of any file. In many cases, I don't make 30 versions of a file, but it's nice to know that if I need that file from four or five versions ago, it's very easy just to go into LiveDrive and do a restore and get that back. Whereas with Mosey, it's gone. And for me, those two features alone really were deal breakers for Mosey uh, and made me want to become a, a LiveDrive customer. One of the other things that I don't care for with Mosey is their web-based restore it doesn't go back the 30 days we were talking about. It goes back only seven days. And once I've restored a file via the web-based portal, I can only do it once. I can't restore it again. So you could restore it again from the client base, but not from the web. 
I don't really understand why Mosey is imposing a separate set of rules for web-based restore versus the client-based restore. This just seems strange to me. Live drive restore rules are the same, whether it's the client or the web. Very simple. Um, again, I don't really understand why Mosey creates another set of rules for web versus client. Another thing I like about Live Drive that I don't see coming from Mosey is uh, Live Drive recognizes the fact that more and more people now have smartphones and they have an iPhone app. You can go to iTunes and download the app. But what the iPhone app will do for you is that if you have a file that you've backed up from your computer and now you're somewhere with your iPhone and you'd like to be able to get that file into your iPhone, maybe it's a PDF or again a Word document or a spreadsheet, and uh, you can actually uh, download it into your phone and restore it there. Uh, Mosey doesn't have any sort of uh, iPhone support. Um, and um, right now, the only thing that LiveDrive has is iPhone, but I'm thinking that with the popularity of Android, they'll probably at some point create an Android app as well, and maybe even for other operating system platforms like BlackBerry and Windows Mobile. Uh, but I haven't seen anything like that from Mosey. At the moment, they don't support or have any applications for any kind of uh, smartphone device. So that's another thing I really like about LiveDrive. I like the, the fact that they're moving into the smartphone area, you know, recognizing how popular that's become. Last but not least, if you're going to have online backup, another feature I think that the provider should offer is file sharing. So one of the things you can do with LiveDrive for an additional fee every month is you can also have a big share drive where you can put files uh, this is a nice application, especially for things like pictures or very large files that are difficult to share via email. And you can get a link, and you can share that link with someone and give them access to that folder. Uh, on my computer, it's just another drive letter. So I have an N drive, and then in that N drive, I have all of these files that I store online in my file sharing function. And that, that's called briefcase in Live Drive. And I have other videos that talk about briefcase, but Mosey doesn't have any file sharing option at all. Now, you can get file sharing functions from other companies, but if I'm going to get an account with a backup provider anyway, and I'm going to have this online function, it would be nice just to get it all with the one provider, make it simple, rather than having two different sets of client software and two different functions and two different bills. So I don't really understand why Mosey isn't offering a file sharing option. It seems to me if you've gone and built the cloud, uh, this is a feature you'll want to offer. So. In summary, uh, for me, I really prefer LiveDrive because first and foremost, they don't charge uh, per computer. Uh, Mosey does, so one flat fee, I can back up all the computers in my house. Second of which is the 30-day versioning is just unacceptable. Uh, you know, I like to know that if I've got five or six versions that I've saved, that they're out there, and if I need to get to an older version, for some reason I can. Uh, so the fact that LiveDrive will store up to 30 versions for me is great. The notion that after 30 days, Mosey deletes the old versions, I think, uh, is not good. And uh, last but certainly not least also is the web restore. I don't understand why Mosey has a different set of rules for web restore than they do for client restore. I don't think that's a great solution either. Uh, I like the flexibility of knowing that it works the same whether I'm doing it up on the web uh, through my browser or I'm doing it with a client software I've got installed on a computer. So. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about LiveDrive or really about how to protect your computer in general, uh, visit my website, BackupOnlineBlog.com. I post articles. I have more videos. You can find them here on YouTube also. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.